Yes, I'm Robert Bishop, and I'm the professor and chairman of the Department of Aerospace Engineering and Engineering Mechanics. Uh, I am an aerospace engineer undergraduate, and I'm an electrical and computer engineer graduate student. I was a graduate student in electrical and computer engineering at Rice University. And uh, my area of interest is systems. In particular, I'm interested in guidance, navigation, and control of uh, aerospace vehicles. Well, I definitely teach. Uh, I teach uh, undergraduate, I teach uh, linear systems, and I teach control systems. At the graduate level, I teach uh, control systems and stochastic control systems. So, whereas when I first started teaching, I would spend much more time describing, for example, how to obtain a root locus plot or how to obtain a Bode plot by hand, now the computer does that very interactively, so now I don't have to discuss that. I can now focus on what is the purpose of the root locus plot, what is the purpose of the Bode plot, and design. And so I think uh, e even in the last several years, the interactive nature of the, of the software has made that even more uh, an, you know, a good thing in my classroom. Yeah, I think that what LabVIEW does is it, is it, uh, it takes care of a lot of the, a lot of the uh, details of uh, getting data, sending information that we don't have to now think about so that we can focus our time on designing the controllers. And the, the programming environment is so, is so easy, basically. We can teach our students the basics of LabVIEW. Uh, they can design the controllers and then program, you know, do, use, you know using uh, LabVIEW, the controllers. Uh, when they program their controllers in the VI, there's a section that says, put your controller in here. And then there's all this other software that goes around at this LabVIEW software that controls you know, all the various functions. But we don't have to worry about that, because that's not the focus of the class. So I think that, that you know, it, it allows us to focus on what we want to focus on and not have to be so concerned about the things that we would have had to be concerned about in the past. Well, so the way it would be in the past is you would, you would basically purchase a turnkey solution from a, from a vendor. They would put, for example, an inverted pendulum in your control slab. You would tell the students to do a paper design on a controller. What controller would they use? Well, it would be one of the options that the, that the uh, manufacturer of the hardware provides you. Okay, And then they would design some parameters. They would go into the lab, and they would input those parameters. But we were, we were forced to use only the control structures that the vendor provided with the, we would have only you know, been able to use what they provided. Now we have the flexibility in the sense that the students, I don't tell them what the controller structure looks like. I say design a controller to meet these specifications. They can design any controller structure they want to. They have to program it with LabVIEW. But it can be a proportional integral derivative controller. It can be a lead controller or a lag controller, whatever they choose. So it uh, you know, opens up the design space now and, and adds a degree of freedom that wouldn't have been there you know, prior to right, LabVIEW. Yeah, so the goal in, in, in linear systems is to provide a mathematical foundation for control systems. And the objective of control systems the high level objective is for students to be able to design feedback control systems for general uh, physical systems, not necessarily aerospace systems, but it could be uh, uh, automotive uh, applications, aerospace applications, medical applications. But the goal is for students to be able to design a control system uh, for uh, actively controlling, stabilizing uh, a system. Like for example, let's say I have a, a system and I want to design a controller for it. And a controller, let's say, is represented by certain poles and zeros. Now, in the, in, in, in the five to ten years ago time frame, uh, you would have to draw or sketch the root locus, and you would have to kind of guess where the poles and zeros should be, put them there, and then go to the computer and see what the response is. Now I can bring up the root locus, and I can grab a, an X, which is a pole, drag it over to my screen. I can drag a, an O, which is a zero, drag it over to my screen. And with my hand, my computer hand, I can move them around, and I can see exactly what's happening. 
I can see the step response, I can see the Bode plot, I can see all the responses I need without ever you know, using a pencil and paper. And so then I, now the students can focus on, okay, what is the role of the pole in zero, not you know, where do I put them and you know, how do I type them in and, 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 and those kind of things. Well, students like LabVIEW. Uh, in fact, we're, we're, we're um, slowly but surely moving LabVIEW into various other aspects of our work including our research, uh, especially with the uh, uh, advent of MathScript and uh, the other uh, command line type of capabilities. So now I can then pull up a LabVIEW environment uh, and I can do the kinds of things I like to do. You know, if I need to compute the eigenvalue of a matrix now, I can just type it in. And if I want to acquire data and communicate with a device, I can write the BI to do that, all in the same environment. So I think that that is really making LabVIEW very attractive to even now research staff, graduate students, you know, who in the past might have just thought, well, LabVIEW is just for data acquisition. Now we're thinking, okay, it's for data acquisition, it's for simulation, it's for control system design as well. I think that uh, more and more universities are starting to teach it the way I do it, uh, but the way what differentiates us from let's say many universities is our emphasis on practical aspects so we have uh, control theory can be from one point of view a very theoretical subject very mathematical uh, from the other point of view it can be a very uh, engineering garage uh, type endeavor and I'm trying to bridge that I want students to be f well founded mathematically but I want them to be able to actually design and implement a real control system so that means that we emphasize computers, computer-aided design, simulation, uh, and implementation. I think that differentiates our program from many of the programs you know, in existence today. My goal is for students to be able to leave the university, my department, be able to uh, enter industry or government, and be able to design and implement a control system on a real vehicle.